Hey guys, what's up? My name is Bob and Fishy, and welcome to the GPC. This is my draft analysis for GPC Season 8, apparently. This is the first one I'm in, so practically Season 1. It's a fresh start for the GPC. They finally got a real superstar. No, I'm kidding. Anyways, my name is Bob and Fishy, and I am the coach of the Hoskins Hoopas. And I've got the ugliest team page imaginable. Look at that hoopa. Ah, blah, 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 blah. And the reason for this ugly team page, it was it was very deliberate. I wanted to make the ugliest page I could with the ugliest team logo I could so that my rivals, my opponents, my, my enemies, my mortal enemies would have to put the, the stupid ugly logo in their videos because I thought it'd be funny. So that was the that was the plan. I hope it works. Anyways, guys, we are the Hoskin Tupas. We are draft we drafted uh uh, a couple of days ago. Actually, it was probably like a week and a half ago. But anyways, I'm pretty excited about my draft. So we're going to go ahead and go through it, and I'm going to talk about what is on it and why I drafted what I did. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I am up in this corner here. You can see all these people. There's a lot of people here. Um, I know most of them, actually. Uh, either from, like, friends of friends, or like, you know, people in uh, the, the group chats that I'm in on Discord, or uh, from IPA. Uh, which is another league I'm in. Uh, basically, like, I know most of the guys, and I know most of the people involved in this league, actually. Uh, Dom, Aster, Johnny, um, who else has been in? Like, everybody's been in this, honestly. Like, Eric, just everyone. And then the people who I don't know from the squad chat, I know from IPA, because, like, about half of the Magyar division in IPA is also in this league. So, yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, I am I am up in this top, uh, whoop, shoot. There we go. I'm right. I'm right up here. So we're gonna go ahead and look at my team, and I'm gonna explain why I drafted what I did. I think it's a pretty solid team. I actually really like the little synergies that I got in it. So hopefully it can work out for me. So let's go ahead and start. Uh, first pick. Now looking at the team, er, the first picks that everybody had: Celestia, Tapu Koko, Victini, Lando I, Mega Ladios, uh, Mega Lopani. And I was like, oh man, the next pick, I could get Lando. And then this guy in front of me drafted Lando. And I was like, no. So I ended up uh, I ended up going with Garchomp. Um, similar reason to why you'd go with Lando. Like offensive, but also kind of decently fast. And gets rocks if you want. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, and Quad Ice Week. You got to have that on a team. You know the deal. Uh, but no, Garchomp is fantastic. Um, and I'm, I'm, of course, always happy to have it. Uh, I, I feel really comfortable using Garchomp nowadays. I've used it in a couple of different leagues. I still get O-Code by, like, random stuff sometimes, but, you know, it that's, that's, comes with the territory if you're using Garchomp. But, it's still really fun. So, Garchomp is cool. He's, uh, base 102 speed, so he's decently fast. He's got good attack. He's got, you know, just good stats all around. Um, ground type, so he's immune to electric. And that... Uh, was kind of what I had in mind when I picked my next pick, which was Skarmory. So, obviously, Skarmory pairs really well with Garchomp. I uh, uh, probably don't need to explain that. Um, just their typings match up really well. And then I said to myself, I need something that resists fire. So I went with Rotom Wash. Now, uh, third round is a little early for a Rotom Wash, but I figured it probably wouldn't be around if I, if I tried to wait. So I just grabbed it early and figured I'd like try and get something else later. Um, yeah, uh, Roads on Wash, it gets defog, so I have another potential hazard removal. Uh, Volt Switch, obviously is really cool. Um, you know, just good typing overall. Like Roads on Wash with Levitate just has such good typing against a lot of teams. So yeah, I uh, figured I'd pick it. Next up, so like those three picks are pretty standard drafty type of things, and you guys know me, I'm not too, I'm not much of a standard player, so I figured I'd go with something crazy on my fourth pick. I still hadn't picked a Mega, so I was like, you know what I need? I need some Mega Beedrill in my life. And the reason for that, Mega Beedrill is really cool. I don't know if anybody's ever told you or not, he's a cheap Omega, but he's very fast, hits very hard. Um, gets U-Turn, which I could potentially have some synergy with Rotom getting Volt Switch. Um, basically, he did a lot for what I was looking at. I was like, I need something that can get me some offensive momentum. And Mega Beedrill really fit that mold. So I was like, I'll have it. 
Uh, and I needed something that was rock weak, because I hadn't picked anything that was rock weak yet, and I was like, I need it. I need to have that in my life. So, that was, that was the thought. And then I said to myself, well, I've got a Volt Switcher, and I've got a U-Turner. How can I take advantage of that? And the, the two options were either more Volt Switch and U-Turn, or a Trapper. So I went with the Trio, uh, and I figured another ground type, that's always good. Two, two ground types and five Pokemon. But Doug Tree is awesome. He can trap stuff. He can potentially just like he, he gets a couple of funky sets. But like, yeah, I figured it would have some good synergies, uh, especially with Mega Beedrill, because what Mega Beedrill does not like is bulky Steel types and Poison types, and Doug Trio can do a pretty good number on both of those, and uh, more importantly, can make it so that they can't get out. So that's pretty cool. So I did go with Doug Trio uh, in addition to my Mega Bees. I figured that would be a good idea. So. That's all there is to that. Next up, we've got Comfy, and Comfy is really cool. Um, I didn't have a fairy up to that point, and Comfy is probably not the best fairy if you're looking for a, like a uh, fairy dragon steel core, but it does get recovery, it gets some priority, it gets a decent speed tier, and it gets good support moves, and it also gets U-turn. So I was like, I could potentially you know have a little bit more synergy with the bees and the wash and stuff with that. So. Yeah, I decided to go with that. Um, not entirely sure if it'll work great, but I can try it. That was my plan. Just try it out, see if it works. Next up, we decided to go uh, more into the U-turn, Volt Turn kind of uh, theme. I went with Chinchino. Um, basically, just to, uh, by the logic that I wanted something that could switch in on ghost moves, potentially, uh, you know, like Tail Slap is awesome. Uh, more U-turn, um, just good speed. Like, I wanted some speed, I wanted some kind of just good stuff all around in that regard. So, Chinchino, I figured it would kind of do okay. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I decided to pick that. And then, at this point, I was like, okay, how many points do I have left? What can I get? You know, like, I was, I was kind of feeling the crunch in that regard. And I was looking around at what I had and what was left on the table. And I noticed Galvantula. And I don't know if you guys know, but Galvantula is one of my favorite mods to use, and it's really, it's got some cool support options, specifically Sticky Web. So I was like, I need it. So I picked Galvantula, and uh, the reason for that, Sticky Webs actually functions really, really interestingly on my team. So, uh, first off, Garchomp under Sticky Webs with like a Swords Dance or something is absolutely terrifying because he's got 102 base speed, so he can outspeed a lot of things, and he can just, like, absolutely maul some stuff. So, yeah, Garchomp was like, oh, I need it. Um, so, yeah, uh, so I, I picked that for that reason, but it also has some pretty good synergies with stuff like Mega Beedrill and Dugtrio, and you don't necessarily think that, but Mega Beedrill's kind of arch nemesis is Scarfers, and if I can slow down Scarfers, Mega Beedrill can absolutely smack them, especially because they're going to be probably um, a little bit frailer, like if they're just scarfed offensive. Beedrill can really do a number on them. Uh, and similar idea to Doug Trio. Like if, I can, uh, like if I can slow down a Scarfer and then trap it, it's not going to hit me. I could potentially be like, yeah, because Doug Trio is incredibly frail. Same for Beedrill. Um, but if I can slow down a Scarfer and trap it and then like kill it without take any, uh, taking any damage, I figured that would be really good. So Galvantula actually fit what I was looking to do pretty well, so I decided to go with it. And then I said to myself, well, I've got what, like three Defoggers, um, Skarmory, Wash, and Comfy, but if I'm going with webs, I need a Rapid Spinner. So I, I decided to go with Hitmontop, he was actually still available at the time. And I kind of saw him there when I was looking at Galvantula, because I, I knew I needed a Rapid Spinner if I was going to go with uh, webs. So Hitmontop happened to be available, and it, it stayed around for the next uh, next round. So I decided to go with that, and if you guys don't know what Hitmontop does, it gets Rapid Spin, it gets Close Combat, it gets Priority, uh, it's got good Special Defense. It's pretty cool. Also has Intimidate, so that's pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, so I decided to go with that, and then... I was looking at my last couple of options, and there I, I saw something It was worth 10 points, and I was like, maybe I could get like a Dusknoir or a Dusclops or something, because uh, I wanted to have a spin blocker, and then I happened to notice Melodic sitting there at 11, and I was like, 
you know, Melodic is not a bad fit for this team. Even though I already have a water. A second water actually would not hurt me because, first off, water is, in my opinion, probably the second best type in the game, um, behind, like, steel. Um, but yeah, I was looking at it and I said, Rotom Wash is a really good pivot, but it doesn't have the crazy amount of bulk that you just want to bring it in on, like, every hit. Melodic kind of does, especially with Marvel Scale. And it also has another ability called Competitive. And competitive gives you a little boost and it's uh, it's not not so little actually every time that one of your stats gets lowered and what do people do when you have webs the defog and I said you know something melodic could actually have some really good synergy here and I was looking through the two-point mods and I saw mistrevis because I knew I wanted a ghost type to spin block Mistrevis, I haven't used it before, but I've seen some people use it, and I've had it used against me, and it's pretty interesting. Um, of course, ghost typing is always good. It can trap things, it can do a lot of really interesting stuff, and it also spin blocks, and it was only two points. So I figured, you know what? I'm gonna go with Melodic, and that way I have a response no matter how my opponent tries to get rid of my webs. And, like, it was really interesting, because I, I put a lot of thought into how I was going to support a mod that I drafted, like, four rounds from the end. Um, but I, I really wanted to, like, once I got it, I was like, man, this, like, there's a cool synergy here. I should support that as well as I can. So, I decided to go with Melodic and Mischievous. And, yeah, I think that's actually a pretty interesting little setup. So... Yeah, you can tell, like, I kind of segmented my draft. I went with synergies in, like, from certain Pokemon, um, like, as much as possible. And the reason for that, I just wanted to make sure that, um, I could kind of, like, I would know what sets of Pokemon to bring against certain people. So that was kind of, that was kind of my idea. And we're gonna have to see if it works. Now, unfortunately, for the, uh, for picking Z-Mons, you had a budget, or well, I had a budget, I suppose, not you. But uh, I had a budget of 25 points, and it basically, if you pick a Z-Mon, it is worth the same amount of points as, like, you would spend on the Mon normally. So I couldn't pick both Garchomp and Doug Trio. I ended up going with Doug Trio just because I figured um, it was probably... It needed the damage boost uh, more so than Garchomp, because Garchomp could potentially hold other items anyway. Now, uh, like, Doug Trio was only really going to have a Z-Crystal or a uh, Sash. So, I figured uh, z Doug Trio would have a better set of synergies with the team. So, I went with it. And then I just decided to go with a couple of more offensive mons for my other Z-Users. So, uh, Chinchino Gavantula. Don't know how much use I'm going to get out of that, but I don't know. It's worth trying. Um, but, yeah, that's my team, guys. I, I actually... I'm pretty proud of it. I'm actually, like, I, I do genuinely think that it'll do some pretty good work. So, um, if you want to look at the other people, um, people in quotation marks, no, I'm kidding. They're all great. Uh, I, I know all of these guys, pretty much. Um, but yeah, uh, they're, they're all, their drafts are all here. They're pretty good. They're all pretty scary. Um, but yeah, I, I really like how mine shaped up. So I think that, um, I think it'll be pretty fun to use. So, guys, if you have any uh, comments, questions, anything like that, feel free to leave them in the comments. I will try to respond uh, if I'm around. And, uh, yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and i really looking forward to playing some games. So, uh, I think that'll be the end of it. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you later. Bye, guys.